Hello community! Yesterday, Google Gemini breaks new ground with new models, longer contacts, better AI agents. And isn't this fascinating, but this is all great, but we are looking here for the code. We want to now be able to fine tune the new vision language model called Polygemma. Now there's a beautiful notebook for you to fine tune this. It is rather simple. You just install all your beautiful dependencies, your all your API key to access Kaggle because we want to use the TPU version 3, the free one from Kaggle. Then you download your checkpoint, your tokenizer, everything. You have your simple checks dependencies here. You construct your model, you load your parameters into RAM, then you move the parameters to your TPU memory or your GPU memory, whatever you prefer. You have here the pre-processing here, the function. Then you're going to iterate over the training and the validation example, rather easy. You inspect your training examples as done. Yes, beautiful. You define the training step and the evaluation loop here in this segment. You run the training loop here with your parameters, but stay here with the default values. They were quite well, I would suggest. And then we evaluate the models here on all other examples that we have and we can save here the final checkpoint and this is it. We have fine-tuned a vision language model, the very last model that came out yesterday. So what do you think? This is amazing, I know. But yes, you notice that we need compute infrastructure. So three possible versions you go, the pure collab. Here, the free collab has only a TPU version 2 free. This is not sufficient for this tutorial since we're working in a vision language model. Now, I would recommend Kaggle. Kaggle offers you a TPU version 3 for free. And this works for this tutorial, which is great. And of course, if you have unlimited financial resources, you go to Google Cloud TPU and you just buy whatever you need. Notes on a multi-GPU setup, yes, here exactly describe what you need, how you get to uh, your credential, you sign in to gaggle.com, you open the gamma model card and select request access and you complete the consent form and then you are in. Beautiful. Installation couldn't be easier. We use, of course, here Keras Jax backend. What else? We are operating here on a massive parallel structure. We load the model. If you're working here still on NVIDIA GPUs, mixed precision, you need, take, need to take care about this. We have a layout map, yeah, because where is it here? JAMA 7B model weights are sh sharded across eight TPU chips according to this layout map. So be careful. But then we are off here for inference. And now we do a run before the fine tuning, then we fine tune, and then we check again with a second inference. So fine tuning couldn't be easier. Look at this simple example. Yes, train take the first 2000. We use here a low rank adaptation. You know the basic LoRa. This is beautiful. You have your optimizer, you have your compile function, your loss, and your special sparse categorical accuracy. You're not gonna believe this. And then we have the inference after the fine tuning happen. And you say, hey, the best comedy movies in the 1990s. And then you get an answer by the system that is so much better because now it is fine trained, fine tuned, beautiful. What else? Keras 3. Keras 3, I have a specific video on Keras 3. At the end of 2023, this is a beautiful new distribution API. This is a new interface designed to facilitate here the deep learning process across a variety of backends. And this is great because we have compatible with JAX, compatible with TensorFlow. And if you are an old grandpa and you still use PyTorch, well, buddy, you have better to move rather fast no? Okay, so whatever you need, Keras is there. TensorFlow, PyTorch, JAX, TensorFlow, yes, of course. And then we gonna use here, where are we? Oh, this is where we have just been. And wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then we have here the model family. So we have code gamma, we have polygamma, and I've just showed you polygamma, the fine tuning. Now we have two versions. This is here a pre trained model that can be fine tuned, or we already have a fine tuned model. Take care, they have different performance. So beautiful. 
Yeah, you can view this on Kaggle. Let's do this. Why not? Polyjama. This is exactly what you have on Kaggle. You go to code and you have your notebook. Fine tune Polyjama with Jax Pure. I really recommend Kaggle if you're not familiar with this. Here, run in Google Colab. Go here to Vertex AI, whatever you want to go. Vision language with Jax. Setup, runtime. They've chosen here GPT. P100 or T4 times 2 from the available actions that they have. Yes, and you have here the complete notebooks available for you. So enjoy this. Or you simply go here to Google Research, Big Vision. Highly recommend this repo. Polyjama, the README file. Again, we have here the pure language model, the Jama 1 version 1 in the 2 billion free trainable parameter version. Plus, we have your vision model, Siglip. Classical models, real small models, real tiny, but we already need to use here a tensor processing unit because we are operating here with vision language models. We have three training stages here, unimodal pre-training, then we have the multimodal pre-training, the high resolution pre-training, and finally the fine tuning. You have to tokenize the defined and all the different checkpoints are available for you. Performance is there. It is absolutely great. If you want to have a look, Kaggle, I just showed you. Vertex Eye Model Garden, I will show you. It is on Hugging Face. And this particular one here is exactly here, the Colab Notebook. I showed you at the beginning of this video. So you see, it is all available for you. Of course, Google tells you, hey, this is not an official product. Uh, this is just for research because it was just published. I don't know. It was just published. Wait a second. Wait a second. It was just published 17 hours ago. So there might be some typos or whatever here. But I think really nice. Go here with the official Google Notebooks. There is not a lot you can do wrong, and I guess you will learn a lot off from them. Beautiful. Yes, I showed you Kaggle. I showed you how to fine tune Poly Gemma with Jax. What else we have? Yeah, I also showed you this. And yeah, of course, if you go now to Vertex AI or Model Garden, I have no access in Europe to this. No, I do not want to use a VPN. So you have here Vertex AI and we have here Polyjama, the official model from yesterday. You have the overview, the documentation, the use cases, whatever you need. But what we are interested in, if you want to code this, open the notebook. So here we have it, Model Garden, NJAX, Polyjama, our vision language model, the fine tuning here, especially here for Vertex AI infrastructure with all the different permissions that you need. And then here the deployment. Two beautiful Python notebooks. If you work here with Google Cloud, I guess you understand it. I highly recommend those one. Okay, I think this is it for my first introduction. No, we have also yesterday the announcement there will be JAMA version 2 coming up in the next weeks, maybe in the next months, we don't know. But they are supposedly, and we have here an expectation uh, management happening here. They should be amazing because look, they say it will be a 27 billion parameter model JAMA 2 and will deliver you the performance of a Llama 370B at less than half of the size. So if you are a GPU poor like I am, if you have the same performance and the model is only half the size, wow, this gets interesting. If you need to do something here on the fly, maybe on your PC at home or your local cluster. So new breakthrough efficiency, but of course we have to test it. Yes, of course, you can also run it here on the old NVIDIA GPUs or you go and it has here, you can run it efficiently here on a single TPU host in Vertex AI. So I think this now becomes really cost effective and maybe the prices will go down a little bit. So interesting to see what is in the pipeline. But for the moment, before we go into any pipeline at all, I hope you enjoy this. Have a look at the code, play around with the code. It is a commodity, the fine tuning code. 
It's become standardized. It's a commodity. Use it. You don't have to think, my goodness, do I have to write the code? No, it is there for you. You just have to copy it and use it. You put in your data, your images, your training data sets, and that is all there is. So go out there, do it, enjoy it, use the free resources. Remember, Kaggle, I think, is maybe even better than Colab right now at this time of recording this because you get a TPU version 3 for free where you can run here the demos. Otherwise, as always, GitHub Google research here, the big vision you find here, all the latest 17 hours ago, uh, Biden notebooks, how Google itself recommend that you do the fine tuning and you do the optimization of the large language model and the vision language model. Okay, beautiful. I think this is it for an overview. So I hope this answered all the questions by my subscriber who said, hey, these new models, how can I use them? How can I run them? How can I do some inference? How can I fine tune them? I hope all those questions are answered now. And it would be great to get some feedback from you if you use other resources, if you have found some other notebooks you can recommend here to the community. So did I forget anything? Let's check. What I really recommend here is the documentation by Google AI for developers. You go to the Gamma family. You have the, your code Gamma, your poly Gamma, and your recurrent Gamma. I have a specific video on this. Go to the guides, the simple setup, how you do this, how you request your access to this. Then start with either, I don't know, a Google Colab. It's done for you. Go to Open Vertex AI and, and, and. You do some basic tuning here with Kara, so it just went you through this with the LoRa distributed tuning with Keras. If you have multiple machines, use this here. Get started with Gemma using PyTorch. They have a specific PyTorch Colab notebook for you to tell you exactly what you need to do if you use Keras. I would recommend Keras, but do whatever you like. A Gamma C++ tutorial is also available for you with a quick start. And of course, if you're really more professional, hey, please go to Inference with Gamma using Jacks and Flags. I have also videos on this where I explain to you why we need this combination and what are the benefits of this. You have here your Colab notebooks for this. And also not just inference, but also fine tuning and everything. So all the code is there for you. Please use it. Use the free resources here on Kaggle, or maybe you pay some money to experience this. But I think don't worry about the code. Some subscriber told me how complicated it is. Am I intelligent enough how to design this code? Look. It has all been done for you. You just need to copy it, use it, look at the result, try to optimize it, try to understand the code, try to optimize the code, try to understand what is going on on a theoretical level, understand the methodologies they use. And this is all there is. Enjoy, play with it, apply here this new vision language model, this new AI models in your agent. And it would be great if you leave here a short reply.